Okay, so I'm going to do a problem. This is something similar to in the textbook, but a little bit different. So here's the situation. We have a car with a mass of 1,000 kilograms, and it's being pulled up a 15 degree incline by another car. But that other car rope, the rope from the other car, has an angle with 25 degrees with respect to the horizontal. So it's not pulling straight up the, um, the incline. So the question is, what's the tension in that rope? Well, let's start off with a free body diagram. Now, we want the tension in the rope. Um, oh, and there's no friction. So this car, since I know the mass, I can find all the forces on this car. Uh, so I don't want to draw the forces on that car, even though the tension pulls on both of them. So let's just redraw just a dot uh, for the force diagram for that car right there. So first, we have, actually, let me draw the, the plane of the, and draw my x and y axis like there, like this. Okay, that'll make more sense in just a second. So the first thing we have is a long range force. What doesn't touch this object? And that's gravity. Gravity pulls down. I'm having trouble drawing straight today. Okay, straight down. We'll call that mg. And this angle is theta, theta 1, that angle right there. Now what is touching the car? Well, there's only two things touching the car. The road pushes up perpendicular to the road, so that would be this way. And then this other rope pulls at an angle, um, like this. Now what's that angle? Okay, The angle with respect to this, if I want to do it with respect to the horizontal, it would be 25 degrees. And you could do that. It would work. Okay, But I am going to use this axis right here. So if that's tilted 15 degrees and that's 25, then this would be 10 degrees. So here theta 2 equals 10 degrees with respect to that axis. Okay, That's it. Those are my only forces acting on my car. And if it's moving at a constant speed, then I know the sum of the forces, that's a sum sign, equals the zero vector. So that would be N plus T plus Mg. Now, of course, I want to really do this in both the x and the y direction. So I'm going to say, um, and actually, I'm, I'm, I can, I'm going to write down both equations. Okay, So let's do the x equation, fx. Which of these forces are in the x direction? Well, that has a component in the x direction. This part of that triangle is in the x direction. So that's the adjacent side for that angle. So this would be t cosine theta 2, and it's in the positive x direction. This one's not pointing at all in the x direction. And this one's in the negative x direction. Again, here I have this right triangle. I want the opposite side of that angle. So this is going to be minus mg sine theta 1. So it's minus because this is in the negative x direction. And it's sine because look at this triangle. I'm dealing with the opposite side. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm going to have sine right there, and that's equal to zero. And then I can do the same thing for the y direction. So now I have uh, n is all in the y direction. I have part of the tension plus t. Now that's the opposite side of that triangle. So this is going to be sine theta 2. And then I have the adjacent side for that, minus m g cosine theta 1. So here I have my two equations. I don't know the normal force. I don't know the tension. But I know everything else. So I want to think mathematically how can I solve for the tension. Well this equation has the tension in it, but it also has the normal force, and I don't know that. This one has tension. I know theta. I know mass. I know g. I know that's theta one. I know everything else. So this one I could solve for t. And I don't even need the y, the y equation. So if I add 
mg sine theta 1 to both sides, I get, I'll write it up here, t cosine theta 2 equals mg sine theta 1. And then I divide both sides by cosine theta, t equals mg sine theta 1 over cosine theta 2. So it's going to be 1,000 kilograms times 9.8 newtons per kilogram. So it's going to give me units of newton, which is what I want. Sine of theta 1 is 15 over cosine of 10. So let me just put that in my little calculator right here on my computer. I'm still here. But I know everyone likes numbers. So let's get a number. So that's going to be... So it's sine of 15 degrees. I get 2575 newtons. Which is much less than the weight, right? The weight of the car is 1,000 times 9.8, so 9,800 newtons. So this is less than the weight. Okay. There you go. That's the tension in the rope.